So I heard the worst song of all time this week, and since I suffered through it, you will have to suffer through it as well. Uh, this group calls themselves the Deplorable Choir. Let's watch. Three Trump fans taking the internet by storm, inspired by country music and politics. The singing trio hopes their pro-Trump songs will help others not be ashamed of their political leanings. Here with me now, Lindsay Morris, C.J. Engelstad, and Valerie Eisler, also known as the Deplorable Choir. So you guys took the word deplorable, made it a good thing, and you want other people to what, not be defensive or ashamed about being on the Trump train? Yeah, yeah. no, it's so much fun to be on the Trump train. And we were so sad watching the effect, the trickle-down effect of the media had on all our friends at home. Like, we had so many friends that were so ashamed to say they were Trump fans. And we were like, why not? The party with the most fun wins. And we were like, we got to bring the fun. And some people think we need to put our camera away, but we're, we're having a ball, we so we're going to keep doing it. So you guys it. sing it loud, sing it proud, and you're yes. finding out there in the country that there are Trump fans that yes. love Absolutely. Donald Trump, but are a little reticent to just come out and put the hat on and choo-choo on the train. You have yeah. yeah. so many high fives when we wear our hats out, like more high fives than Oh yeah, for every hundred people that like... Give us a high five. There might be one rude person. Even here in New York City, we walked all around, and people Loud love and it. So They're you, ready for people to be proud in public. You guys have been walking around Manhattan with the oh, yeah. MAGA hats with on? MAGA hats. Oh, yeah. No trouble? Oh, no way. No. We got the bird once, but you know what? You we, got the bird once? We, we asked them if they wanted that, a hug. <laughs> that was probably Juan. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been. All right, do you guys want to play a little song for us? Sure. All right, let to. it go. Here we go, ladies. The Deplorable Choir. We don't care if you're white, don't care if you're black, we don't care if you're gay, we're all under attack. We don't care if you're rich, don't care if you're poor, cause we all know what we're fighting for. Sing it, real women vote for Trump. Little piece of me died today. <laughs> Little piece of me died. Man. Imagine liking that. Imagine enjoying that. I mean, there are people in the audience of Fox News who definitely like that. I mean, that's painful to think about. That's painful to think about that there are people out there that heard that and were like, mm-hmm, yep. I like that right there. Mm -hmm. I'm at a loss for words. It's kind of crazy that they, like, this is their thing. This is what they do. And they think they're nailing it. They obviously think they're nailing it. They, and I have to say, it does drive me crazy because you and I both know if you ask them, hey, name one policy Trump passed. Go ahead. Name one. You know what you know they'll say? They don't have any specifics, but what they will say is what it says. I don't know if you can see what's on their shirt here. Trust in God, but vote Republican. I really wish Trump saw that and then tweeted about it. I really would have enjoyed that. I'm very curious what he would have said. He would have said, oh... Tremendous, deplorable choir, doing a great job. 
Love it. Very talented. <laughs> now, I'm going to leave you guys with, um, with a pro Bernie song. So, listen, I'm, I'm not one of these people who usually enjoys the whole musical aspect to politics where maybe somebody really supports a candidate and then they, you know, try to use their talents in that direction. I don't know why, but I always just felt it was a little tacky. However, say, having said that, um, Mr. Tony Tig here, who did this uh, pro Bernie Sanders song, I have to say, he did a really good job. So the song is actually pro Bernie and against um, uh, establishment media, and uh, I'll leave you with that. And I'll leave his uh, Twitter handle on the screen too if you want to follow him. But I will say this: <laughs> you go ahead and tell me which team you'd rather be on: the Deplorable Choir, which is what you just saw, or the pro Bernie song and the pro Bernie people here. This is Mr. Tony Tig. <laughs> In MSNBC, trying to keep the burn about DC. Spending all your time and resources to slander his name for changing the game. You and Fox News just merged lanes. How much money it costs for you to sell your soul? Claiming that you play hardball, but that ain't so. Wish Ed Schultz was still here, cause you have no backbone. This party is for the people, none of y'all can't go. You mock the revolution, but I for no resolutions. Just smear after smear, but I'm out for retribution. You establish men, hacks, or just see the cost past you don't care about the country, you just want to see us losing If Trump wins again, it's just rings for you Middle finger to you all, cause we ain't playing with you All this identity politics with no issues discussed Just the TMZ of politics beyond the disgust Yeah, I can see the breakdown, baby Whoa, you trying to get